Hello, oh, welcome to Stellaris, and I'm going to continue my series on how to mod Stellaris. How, and today, before I was showing you how to put in um, your custom portraits, and today I'm going to show you how to put in custom flags. Custom flags are a lot easier than custom for portraits, and it's only maybe a two-step process. I've already put in a bunch of custom flags in this, and so I'm just going to show you the steps on how to do it. So let's go into the game. Actually, I'm going to go into one of my saved games, and I'll show you what they look like. So here's a really quick view on what it might look like if you have custom flags. On this side of the map, I have regular flags, and on this side of the map, I have custom flags. So I have three custom flags here. I have one, this one here this one here and this Care Bear up here. I quite like the Care Bear ones. And that goes with their custom portrait. It also shows up um, let's see here. I can't see one. It also shows up. You also can make it show up here. And you can also make it show up on your ships down here. Whenever you look at the ships and if I can find one like these this little tiny thing right here or this little icon that's also a place where your custom uh, flags can show up now you have to watch out because sometimes if you don't do it right they can kinda look a little messed up so if you look at this one here it doesn't look too good but that's I'll explain that in a second but now I'm just going to go back out into the um, outside of the game and I'm going to show you like exactly where to put these files and how to format them. Okay, we're outside of the game and we're in looking at the, the folder that is your Stellaris folder and the easiest way to do this I found is you go into the flags folder here and you make a new folder and you call that new folder anything you want so I called it test so if you come in here into the folder you'll see that there's a few items in that folder the first item is these two folders up here one folder is called map one folder is called small and the last fold or the last thing that's in there is a text file called usage. Now I just copied this text file here and it's very easy to uh, just copy what's in the other map file and put it into this file. So the other all the other ones in the folder called flag under the specific folder has a uh, a notepad file that has random equals no show underscore in underscore designer equals yes put that in the test folder or your new folder and then put a folder called small which also has a version of the flag file which is named exactly the same and a version called map which is another flag file folder. So in the main folder under flags under this is what the, the original one looks like like this so they just named them flag pointy and then they have the small and then they have map. So back in my folder we have I'll just show you the in the main folder, the main category folder, you have one file and if you open that file up you'll see that that picture is a 128 by 128 image. So that was a... I, I, I copied that and put it over and that, I named that test flag. So here's the other flag that I put in. This is a custom flag and as you can see the image is 128 by 128 in the flags folder. In the small folder, 
you have an image and the image is 28 by 28. Now this one's the one that could get messed up if you don't actually make your actual folder or actual I don't know what you want to say your original file whenever you pull your original file out and make it first you have to make it a square picture if you do not this file is going to look a little bit goofy in the window the last folder that you have is the map folder the map folder is a picture the same exact picture and all you have to do is resize it to 256 by 256 and there it is so that's how you put custom maps in the last thing you know how to know is well how do I get a file to be a .dds file well there's a program which I was using on my last tutorial called GIMP2 right here GIMP 2.8 this is a free program that you can use and whenever you pull something in let's say I wanted to pull in a file from the internet or if I wanted to draw a file I would have to make that image originally a perfect square because if it's not a perfect square the 28 by 28 image will become distorted the last thing you need to do is make sure that you export as DDS file and to do that you you hit the export button and you scroll down to DDS and you hit export I'm just gonna save it as on my desktop as alien and then hit OK and make sure that also you create the MIP maps so when you go to your desktop you'll have your image as a DDS file like right here and here's my image as it is a square okay we're back and if I just go ahead and um, choose a race here or even create a new one under flag we see that now we have a new uh, folder here with our custom flags in it and we can see that uh, our flag is art in the game make it like that color that looks pretty good and we'll just use some default settings here so we can show okay so we are in the game and we can see that uh, our flag is here that's the 128 by 128 flag the um, the 28 by 28 flag is this one here in the icons and the 256 by 256 flag is out here so that's how you do a custom flag in Stellaris, I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, this is Jay Stank signing out.